Ladies and gentlemen, this Power Perspective is sponsored by Grand Valley State University. Please welcome Detroit City Council Member for District 4, Andre Spivey. Good morning. I'm here because I believe Detroit's comeback and future success is not tied to how many buildings we can renovate, how many new restaurants any given week, how many ribbon cutters we can attend, but how we value education here in our community. I've been very fortunate to be educated, educated in both public and private schools in the city of Detroit. And it all started a long time ago, right there. Dover Me Learning Center on Northwest Detroit. Met my good friend there, Raymond, I've seen him in 40 years. And here's me at the pre-K after party, <laughs> celebrating my diploma going to kindergarten. After that, my 21-year-old single mom put me in Catholic school. $600 a year she paid at that time. Found myself at St. Mary's of Redford grade school on the northwest side of Detroit. Met a lot of great people there, had a great time, had a great time. I was in the principal's office almost every day getting spanked with that ruler. And I had enough of that. And I begged and pleaded, can I please go to public school? And I found myself at the best high school this side of the universe, Cass Technical High School. There's some Cass Tech folk in the house today. Had a great time there, had a great time, had a lot of friends I met throughout the years. And here you see me at my high school weight. I'm not that far from there. And if you look very close, in this first number nine at the very top, you can see me. Our graduation year on 2nd Avenue in the front of our high school. I've gone on to go to undergraduate school and grad school. I'm in law school right now. I've been very fortunate. But we have to value education in our city to help our children and those who are underemployed and those who are not employed at all to prepare for Detroit's future. I live by the mantra by Booker T. Washington, the founder of now Hampton University, when he said, there was never a time in my youth, no matter how dark and discouraging the days may be, when my one resolve did not continually remain with me, and that was a determination to get education at all costs, and that should be our mantra today in our city. Now, Bill Gates warned us in the latter part of the 20th century that uh, in the 21st century, knowledge would be the key factor in our country and the largest expenditure in the United States, knowledge. We have some work to do. Now, we have a great system here, new leadership doing a great job, but there's still some challenges. It's fundamentally wrong when our children, every three or four years, change in leadership and they're further and further behind, yet with a new plan. It hurts our heart, disheartening to know that we put the world on wheels. We manufactured this country with our cars, and we didn't have the talent pool to bring Amazon's second headquarters. We have work to do. Now, the late Canadian-born actress and social activist, Miss Mary Pickford, she said this, if you want to go forward, the past cannot be changed, but the future is yet in your power. We have some work to do. There's some children waiting for you and I to go forth and to mentor them, not just stop by the school, but to mentor them, build relationships, and if we're gonna go forward, Detroit, prepare all of our residents, both young and old, for the future coming forward. Now, what would happen if we all today did our part to make sure that we can educate our children successfully, prepare those who are underemployed and not employed at all? Here's what can happen. We can bridge the income inequality gap. We can boost economic development. We can prepare our well-equipped workforce. We can discourage crime, promote racial and gender equality, and we can make Detroit the most attractive city the world over. Our future success must be interconnected with our educational system and preparing all those for the workforce in the years coming ahead. Because we're only 3,987 days away from staring 2030 in the face. We have some work to do. And if by chance there are some skeptics or pessimists in the house today, let me encourage you to take the quote of a man in prison for 27 years on Robben Island and rose to be the president of South Africa when Nelson Mandela said, it, is always, it always seems impossible until it's done. Let's roll up our sleeves, make Detroit a great city, value education, and let's sit on top of the world as the greatest city in the world. Thank you very much, and let's get to work.